If you are somebody who has taken a long time or who generally takes a long time to find um, where you should be or where you should go in terms of whether it is career or love and relationships, um, I want to say this to you um, because um, especially if you are somebody who is still in your 20s and still kind of trying to figure things out, um, you know, there seems to be um, certain types of people that just seems to know where they're going and what they're supposed to do with life. Um, for me personally, I, I've had a lot of um, people around me who are like that, um, you know, who are, they're just, they just know, um, you know, what their goals are and what really interests them. Um, if in terms of career, especially, um, for example, I was, um, at first I was at a design school. I was at an art, at an art school. I, when I just began to sort of explore my uh, career options and um, you know what I'm gonna do for for my future, um, transitioning from uh, basically a teenager to an adult, and um, you know, and there were a lot of people around me um, who were my age, and they were so sure about the path they were on. Uh, they knew that they loved the field that they've chosen and they were and it was a very competitive field and they were all very very talented very very driven um very very single pointed focused um people and um I saw them rise up you know like it's almost it almost felt like we started at uh, approximately the same place, but I saw because they're so sure of, um, you know, about what they've chosen to do, and um, they genuinely passionate about it, and they love doing what they do, and so it's almost like they settled in to a path uh, very early on, and. You know, they they were they there was very little doubt about you know whether this is my path, you know because the passion there was so obvious and strong, and they just know, and it's like you know you've known uh, there there were like for example uh, singers who just knew that they they were going to be performers and singers since they were little kids. Um, and and it's almost like for some singers, for example, it, it, they didn't start singing so well or writing songs so well, but because the calling, the the drive, the passion for it is so strong, um, you know, th and they were so focused on this one goal, um, you know, they they made it like they they made it anyway, and they improved so much, and they become you know. Uh, one of the best in their fields and things like this and you know people who know that you know they knew their calling uh, you know for lack of a better word since very early on and they invest in it and then um, it's almost like the fruit of their labor um, comes about um, uh, in a much more uh, fa um, in a way that's much faster than um, others who are sort of unsure about which path to go um, and um, you know in there were people like that and um, and then there are other people who are kind of you know the other group of people who are kind of like me who are kind of like you are not sure of which path to go. It seems that like you have a lot of interest and um, <laughs> and um, if you are lucky, you have explored a lot of different interests and different areas. Um, and maybe you are uh, good at many of them, but um, still you don't know which path is really the one that you're supposed to be on that is really pulling you in. I'm talking especially for um, career, for, you know, your sort of, um, to, for establishing a solid identity in this world. And um, there are people like that too, right? And 
um, and everybody's timing is different. For example, I always thought about William Kendridge, for example, a very, very, very nowadays and very well known um, South African artist, installation artist. I loved his work since I was like a teenager. Um, I, I admire him so much and he said this quote and has always been such an encouragement for me. Um, especially when I was really lost um, and, and just didn't know which path to go when I was um, in my late teens and early 20s. And he said, um, I was reduced to be an artist, to an artist. I was reduced to, to an artist. What he meant by that is was like he, I, he only started really doing the artwork that He's doing. He started with you know painting and and later installation and uh, some elements of performance in theater. Um, in his thirties, um, I think he only started like focusing on uh, sol solidifying the identity of an artist, um, being an artist uh, when he hit thirty years old, something like that. And later he did develop that path. But he said before that he tried almost everything. Like he he was interested in so many things. He tried to be an actor in a theater. He tried um, something else. Um, I think it, he tried to be either a writer or a musician, something like that. But he was he just tried everything. Um, and um, he, and he said, you know, I, then I realized that I couldn't uh, really do anything else, but. Uh, like being an artist is the one option that's left um he realized that's and then that becomes the only thing that he realized he could do is to be an artist and i think a lot of artists actually have this thing where they sort of they don't know what to do with their lives and uh it was so confusing and um somehow they just um you know, reduce to become an artist. Like in at the end of the day, they're like, okay, well, art I can do. Um, I was thinking on another artist that I really love, um, Sophie Cow. Like, is it Cali or Cow? Like C A L L E. Um, she's French, so I don't know. I'm butchering her name, but um, she she teaches at um, the Art Institute of California, I believe. Um, anyways, she's, um, uh, one of the, the, the artists that I, I just love. I love, uh, she, she does photography and text and, um, she does all these sort of, um, experiments. Um, it's, it's almost like, you know, uh, art as life or life as art kind of thing. Like she experiments with, um, life. Um, as her art projects, um, for example, she collected um, things, um, items uh, when she was uh, being um, a hotel cleaner, room cleaner. She was the, uh, she was a cleaner for a while, and she um, when she was cleaning other people's rooms, she collected all this stuff <laughs> she found in her rooms, <coughs> and she made art projects out of it. Or she had, um, she took photos and uh, she wrote like very intimately, like her life, like photos from her life. And uh, she wrote these very funny, witty uh, texts about the photos, about, you know, the very sort of like very interesting and sometimes freaky events um, in her life. And she had another project where uh, she was inviting uh, everybody to sleep in her bed um, for a while and interviewed them while they were sleeping in her bed. Um, things like this. I, I find her to be uh, very, very interesting and, and she has this really French dark humor that um, just, you know, absolutely amazing. And she said um, also about her path. She said, I don't know what to do. And being an artist, it was like, Somebody is, she said, somebody else told me I should be an artist, so I became an artist. It's almost like she said she didn't know what to do, uh, I think, between high school and college, and she was just in her early 20s, sort of wandering around and traveling. 
and then so she doesn't know what to do and her dad um her dad uh i think she took some photos and then her dad um uh told her to to come to paris and um eventually um i think her dad supported her for a while um to uh take this photography photography thing more seriously and eventually she began to have um exhibitions and that's how she um you know just become then become an artist but she didn't you know set out to become an artist she was just sort of lost and she was just wandering around traveling around and trying to figure things out this sort of thing but you know she ended up okay and more than much more more than okay right um i just want to say this um you know why is it i you know if you have ever thought about you know the question why is it that some for some people it seems so easy for them to know um their path and it's so simple and straightforward um you know i i i used to think about that when i was younger um especially when i was at an age where i was um seeing uh, my friends and people around me uh, who we were start we started at the same place and I really see them because they were really dedicated and they were passionate about what they do and they were certain about what they do so they were able to focus all their energy in one direction and take off and you know they really enjoyed also what they do um, um, you know in design and I, I watched them them take off and when I was younger I I would, but I was the person who sort of, um, I explored one area, but I was not quite sure. And then I, I explored something else. I'm not quite sure. Although I was good with many things and many areas, but it's almost like this urge within me to, um, explore as many things that I could explore. And I just have this pull, not in one direction, but a pull of just, I want to expand it's almost like um it's almost like it is um i i want to expand horizontal horizontally and not vertically or you know it was a, a time in my life where i felt because i felt like i was still really young and um i i don't i didn't want to develop myself um in depth but i wanted to develop myself in width so that was sort of my um natural inclination and that meant inevitably that i would be quote unquote slower than you know many of my peers and um and i knew that that would be the natural consequence of that but i you know i, I couldn't help it it's just like a natural tendency i kind of just wonder i wanted to wander around different areas and i like i love to make link between links between different areas and um but a part of me used to really wonder like why is it so easy for somebody else to just knew you know what what they're supposed to be supposed to be doing in their life um and i thought you know for some souls for some people um i think your your soul your spirit or um you know if we would put it in those terms um is much more complex and and um were more multifaceted and and, and you know it is, uh, I, I believe, um, how to say, it's more, I don't want to use the word grandiose, grandiose, but like that's the word that's coming to mind suddenly. It's more expensive in a way. You know, it is more colorful. It is more weighty. It's more sort of, it's almost like, when you see some sculptures are very simple and they're beautiful simply as they are right and but some sculptures they are very complicated and multifaceted and uh, the material is complex and interesting and it's just sort of um, it's a different thing it's just different right and and um you know um and and that's we're just different 
and that's different and and it's like through exploring all the things it, it's almost like the self that you have the spirit that you have is much more complicated to understand it is a much more um, how to say what is a better <laughs> a better word for complex but like it is a much more complex spirit for you to understand. So you have a self that you need to understand. You need to know yourself. You have a self to understand. And we don't just understand ourselves like automatically. We understand ourselves through encountering experiences, especially encountering oppositions, encountering challenges, encountering fractures, right, in our um, experiences and through these challenges and fractures and sort of like this, you know, unfitness kind of like thing, this, all the sort of pain um, created and confusion are created as through these kind of um, uh, experience with oppositions, with restraint, with discomfort. That's how we begin to understand ourselves. We, <clears throat> in this reality, we understand things through opposition. If you want to understand power, for example, if your soul want to understand power, you will be born into situations, environment that make you feel absolutely powerless. That's the lesson for you because your soul wants to understand power. You want to, we understand in this reality, we understand things through its opposition. You want to understand love. You want to know love. Very likely you were born into an early environment that's just loveless and it was just cold. And um, it makes you wonder, it push you into the direction of what you really want to know through experiencing the lack of it. So same logic applying to something like finding your path, um, what you should do in the world and what, what paths really resonate with you. It's like some souls are very complex. It's almost like you, you need to try this and, have, and, and try that and try all the things that you can try and encountering all sorts of fractures and oppositions and uh, this kind of disagreeing, disharmonizing experience. Um, and through that, through each opposition, through each quote-unquote wrong path, wrong uh, decision, wrong try, you can't mean, when you are trying, it can't be wrong, but like when you try something and you realize it is not for you, and you feel like, oh my God, I tried so many things and many th I realized many things are not for me. Well, that's a great thing, isn't it? Some people, it's almost like some people, they don't even try anything because it's almost like they had no interest. They had no curiosity. They, they just have this one thing they really love and they went for it and, you know, bang, and that's their path. Um, but maybe you are somebody who is not like that. You, you maybe you're very curious and you wonder about this and you wonder about that. You try this and try that. And then you encounter, you know, door slamming at your face or you encounter, you know, uh, okay, this path, it seems, I thought it, re it would resonate with me, but it actually didn't. It actually, um, it was uh, not, it doesn't actually vibe with me. But through all these try, trials and and then um, and then realizing uh, something doesn't work for you through all these sort of experience, you gain more and more perspective of who you are. You know, you know, it's like each one show you a new facet of who you really are, what really resonate with you. Okay, this does not resonate with me. I thought this would resonate with me, right? It's like almost like, okay, now I understand this aspect of myself much deeper because I had some assumption of myself I didn't know, right? I didn't know that side of myself at all before. Now I tried, I encountered um, 
this uh, disharmonizing, disagreeing experience, now I know, oh, this aspect of, of myself, I didn't know before. And I tried this and maybe this is, and then I realized another aspect of myself. I didn't know I, uh, I'm, I'm like this. I'm actually like this. Um, you know, it's almost like you have a much more complicated soul that is pushing you to, through all these different experiences, they're not wasted, through all these different experiences where you encounter a lot of uh, setbacks and, and, and realize what you tried was not for you, um, you, you truly understand the multifaceted nature of you, how complex you are, how deep you are. Um, and also you just get a much more fuller understanding of who you are and um, you, you get a much, I guess, um, in depth and, and uh, comprehensive perspective of yourself as a complex soul versus somebody who just try one or two things and they succeed, they just went for it. Um, that's another experience and um, and that's a much simpler, you know, way of experiencing yourself. And, you know, it's, it's like, I'm not trying to say uh, those souls are more simple, but it's like in terms of, you know, um, knowing different aspects of the self, of having different experience of ourselves, um, they are lacking that. But you have this, you have uh, through this process, a much more comprehensive and elevated um, perspectives of yourself and understanding of yourself and experience of yourself. And I think I find that to be, as I grew older, I find that to be um, very valuable. And um, I really do appreciate that. I appreciate um, all the things that I've tried. I've tried many, many things and I appreciate the confusion. Because the more the the older you get, the more you realize, hey, like, like I have an interesting soul. Like I, this is interesting. Like I am very interesting to myself. Like, you know, um, many things you you didn't know of yourself before, and through all these, um, you know, trials and and tribulations, and, um, you know, now you know, uh so much uh, more in depth and, 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 and in a more complex way of, of yourself. And um, that in itself is uh, extremely, extremely valuable and um, very, very interesting. And I think the more you grow older, the souls like this, people like this, so the, older you, the older you get, the more, the richer you are. It's like, you're like a, <laughs> you're like a dessert with such rich flavor. You're not just like a sugar cane. You're not just a simple croissant. A simple croissant is great. You know, it's great in its own right. You know, simple dishes, they, are, they can be great in their own right. Um, but you are that kind of dish that is so flavor, flavorful, that is just, it has so many ingredients that is an explosive experience. It's like, um, I don't know, German food versus um, Indian food. <laughs> it's not, neither one is, you know, not, 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 not one is better or worse than the other. They're just different. You know, you, you, you like bristles, you like bread, right? <laughs> bread are great. I mean, different kinds of bread. Um, but the ingredients, I mean, um, in terms of just ingredients, if you're, you know, um, <laughs> you know, Indian food definitely has more flavor and, and is richer, much richer in that way. And yeah, so it's just different. And um, the, the message I want to send out there is just like all those um, tries and arrows and, um, you know, you try something and you realize, oh, this is not for me and try another thing. Oh, that is not for me. Um, all of that is sort of, it is making you know yourself more and more. And um, it is because you are a soul of a much more 
richer and complex flavor and um, you will you will realize that um, yourself your experience of yourself and your understanding of yourself and your understanding and experience of life will become much much more interesting as you grow older and you will appreciate this um, this tendency this nature of yourself um, the fact that you have such a curious wondrous uh, flavorful nature and that's all for today